Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the Kindergarten Sabbath School class. I'm so excited you've joined us today. Our lesson is called God's Messengers. Our Bible story today is about angels who brought good news about Jesus. Our memory text is taken from Hebrews 1 verse 14. It says, the angels serve God and are sent to help. And our message for the story is, God sends angels to help us. Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for your angels. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's sing, Go Tell It on the Mountain. In our story today, an angel visits Mary to tell her that she will have a special baby called Jesus. The angel also visits Joseph to tell him about Mary and the baby, and says his name shall be Jesus. Later, many angels visit the shepherds and tell them that Jesus has been born in Bethlehem. We're going to listen to the story of God's messengers, and remember boys and girls, pay special attention so that you can answer the questions after the story. Do you like to hear good news? A long time ago, angels brought good news to some very special people. The angel Gabriel sped to earth. He knew exactly where he was going, to a little town called Nazareth. He knew exactly to whom he would talk there, a special girl named Mary and he knew exactly what God had told him to say. Mary, Gabriel spoke softly, Do not be afraid. God is pleased with you. The Lord has blessed you and is with you, he said. Mary was very, very surprised and very shocked and very confused. 
Mary listened carefully to everything the beautiful angel Gabriel told her. You will have a baby, Gabriel said. You will name him Jesus. He is the Son of God. After Gabriel finished explaining things, Mary said, Let it be as you have said. About this time, God sent a message to Joseph. A glorious angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Take Mary for your wife, the angel said. She will have a son, and you will name the baby Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. Joseph woke up. He sat straight up in bed. An angel? Joseph thought. God sent an angel to me? After baby Jesus was born, God sent another angel to shepherds who were quietly guarding their sleeping sheep. The brilliant light of the angel shone upon them, and they were scared. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I am bringing you good news. Your Savior was born today in Bethlehem. Then all the angels burst into song, Glory to God in heaven and on earth, let there be peace. The whole sky was filled with beautiful music. Soon the angel choir went back to heaven for the next job God had for them. Angels are always ready to do God's work to carry messages, and to watch over you and me. God has given you a special angel, your guardian angel, to watch over you all the time. Wherever you go, whatever you do, your angel is right there with you. What an awesome story. Because God loves us, he sends angels to comfort us, protect us, guide us, and give us messages. Angels are one of God's gifts to us. It's time for our questions now, boys and girls. Our first question is, what is the name of the angel who visited Mary? The correct answer is Gabriel. Good job, boys and girls. Our second question is, what did the angel in Joseph's dream tell him to do? The angel told him to marry Mary. Good job, boys and girls. Our final question is, what did the angel tell the shepherds? They told the shepherds that Jesus is born in Bethlehem and to go find him lying in a manger. Great job, boys and girls. Each of us has an angel with us all the time. That's our guardian angel, a special angel who watches over us everywhere we go. Angels do important work for God and they are a gift to us from him. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for prayer, and as usual, we will say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, boys and girls. Let's share the good news of God's angel messengers and tell others that God loves them too. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.